The past two decades have seen a lot of crises that have affected financial markets. The global financial crisis, the European sovereign debt crisis, COVID-19 and the Russo-Ukrainian war. The list goes on. Last month, Fidelity marked the 20-year anniversary of its Australian Equities Fund. The fund has consistently outperformed its benchmark, the ASX200 Accumulation Index, netting over 11% per annum. Paul Taylor, Head of Investments at Fidelity International, has captained that ship from inception till now. In tomorrow's episode of The Rules of Investing, Paul explains his process for finding what he terms the holy grail of investing long-term compounders. He also discusses the market's next buying window, the need to view stocks and their upside potential within the context of portfolio construction, and the next thing to break if rates keep rising. Here's a preview of what you can expect. Now, some of the things that that you do uh, to filter out that noise is you really just, I always talk about, you know, you want to focus on important versus unimportant. Now, that sounds very simple, but sometimes unimportant things are really interesting things, and you get you get sucked into those really interesting but unimportant things. So you've got to ask, each bit of information you get, you've got to ask yourself, is it, is it important or unimportant? You've got to focus on the long term, not the short term. You've got to be proactive, uh, not reactive. Um, so, I, you know, that's what gets you into it. You've also, what I also find is my best days... Uh, when I'm out meeting companies, talking to companies, understanding how they earn money, what their what's their business model, what's their strategy going forward. Uh, my worst days are when I'm sitting at my desk watching the market go up and down. And you know, when you if you sit at your desk and and and, and see the screen go green or red, it's it's acting on you. You know, like it's it, and sometimes the best thing to do as a fund manager is, is to do nothing. 